The U.S. president's health remains a major factor in the flux for global markets. And with reports indicating that President Trump's health is improving, global stock markets saw a recovery and other risk assets have risen. Our latest report gives you all the details and how the president and his health affects global markets. The news that President Trump tested positive for the coronavirus has further unsettled investors and business leaders already on edge ahead of the November election. Global markets plummeted as the president began isolating at the White House before heading to Walter Reed Medical Center. On Friday, Dow futures slumped 500 points before recovering to being down about 350 points. By 7 a.m., world markets were similarly shaken. And on Monday, investors woke up to another day of uncertainty in the stock market. It does worry me. I do think that a lot of economics are dependent on his well-being. So the stock markets definitely, I think we already see some numbers going down. And of course, his longevity. The markets were already rocky last week, with tech stocks selling off and reports of additional stimulus coming from Congress. However, overall, the markets have enjoyed a record run and a correction could be in order. President Donald Trump is a friend of the markets with his pro-business policies like loosening regulations. He often points to the market as evidence that his economic policies are successful. The president also continues to defend his economic recovery plans. We closed it down and now we're reopening and we're doing record business. We had 10.4 million people in a four month period that we've put back into the workforce. That's a record the likes of which nobody's ever seen before. New Census Bureau and Federal Reserve reports show a record increase in American median earnings, especially for minorities, a historic fall in the poverty rate and reducing income inequality in pre-pandemic 2019. These may prove to be promising signs that Trump's economic foundations will withstand a pandemic shock to America and now its leader. However, the president also downplayed the virus, often seen in close proximity with others without a mask. The reality that no one is completely safe from the virus has left workers concerned about re-entering the workplace and a more cautious attitude about reopening the economy altogether. This lack of certainty could be just as damaging economically as anything else this year. Susan Tehrani from New York for Weon, World is One.